seven best summer fragrance only from the brand Ahmad Al Maghribi. So stay tuned to watch in detail. What's up guys, this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Track. Today I'm going to talk about seven perfumes only from the brand Ahmad Al Maghribi which is a UA brand, very popular these days. They are known for performance. They are absolutely great in terms of performance, majority of them. So today I'll be talking about seven perfumes from their brand, which is specific for summers in 2024. So at number seven is Muzn, okay? If you like intense fruity fragrances, raspberry, strawberry, all the other fruits that you can imagine, you can try this one. This is not my personal favorite because the fruity notes here are very, very sweet. They absolutely go in the summers because that kind of fruity elements is definitely going to blend well with your sweat. But I hate to smell it on myself because this kind of intense, sweet, fruity note is not something that I enjoy at this age. Okay, I used to love these kind of sweet fragrances when I was young in my 20s, but not anymore, guys. But doesn't mean that this is not appealing to the loans. This is very, very appealing, highly complimenting factor. So if you are somebody who is still into that sort of fruity sweetness fragrances, which you love wearing, definitely try Mousse. Okay, the performance is brilliant. Two and a half hours of projection and nine to 10 hours of lasting on clothes. At number six is Ahmad El Maghribi's Calf. If you like artificial watermelon along with artificial lavender, with a great performance with musk and woody notes in the base you definitely can try this one again this is not my personal favorite but many people love this as well so it all depends on your personal taste the watermelon smells too artificial to my nose so that's where i don't enjoy the lavender also is kind of artificial and my wife hates it that's the main reason okay when i wore it once i used to kind of like this one but once my wife gave bad reaction and i myself started disliking it it's just my personal story guys but like i said many people still love this one this is a bang for buck when it comes to performance because this is an absolute beast mode in the summers three hours of projection 10 hours of lasting ahmad al maghribi calf lavender and watermelon is something that you need to keep in mind at number five is oud lavender there is no oud here i don't know why they have named it like that it is a creamy lavender fragrance if you like creamy lavender fragrance along with some green grassy feel some sweet leather feel very light leather then you can try this one this definitely goes in the summers but i wouldn't really suggest in the daytime try in the evening times it smells a lot better when it doesn't sweat okay but it still goes in the summers this is the one which does not perform like the others but that doesn't mean that this is overall a bad performer this still lasts about one and a half hours of projection and six seven hours of lasting it is still not bad for a summer fragrance but when i compare it with other ahmad al maribi this is slightly on the lower side when it comes to lasting but it smells fantastic guys oud lavender with no oud and that's why i put it in the summer list at number four bombay oud this is a sandalwood bomb guys there is again no animalic skanky heavy oud there is a bit of woody note in the base but the sandalwood here is very very creamy some people relate this to santur soap Obviously, you can relate it, but it's a lot, lot better than that. It's a lot, lot better. The quality is really nice. It is a creamy sandalwood. And that sandalwood is like a beast mode, guys, because I get reactions with this one even after three hours. It keeps projecting and projecting and it goes in the high summers as well. You can still try this in the daytime. This is that kind of fragrance. And I feel the name Bombay Oud is something that it suits well because Bombay is obviously known for hot weathers and if you are somebody who likes wearing oud fragrances for the summers Bombay oud should be your fragrance this is a little expensive cost closer to 4000 I remember or maybe four and a half I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this it's a hundred ml eau de parfum 
three four hours of projection 10 12 hours it can go on and on if you wear it on clothes depending on whether you spend full time outdoors or indoors this is an absolute beast mode sandalwood bomb musk sandalwood some creaminess that's it but it's a beast performer so keep that in mind at number three is ahmed al Bees blue this is the strongest clone of blue de chanel parfum version i have the other parfum but this is more on the parfum version it is very intense very strong it is stronger than this one but obviously it is a little synthetic it is not refined and smooth like the original but you shouldn't be comparing that way this costs around ten thousand this is just 2000 I remember for this price this is an absolute banger if you care about performance and if you like the DNA of blue de Chanel this is a must try guys this is the strongest blue de Chanel clone that I've tried till date I personally don't enjoy that kind of intense synthetic blue de Chanel vibe not my type but if you care about performance compliments you still can try this one this is a banger at number two, Ahmad Al Mahiripi's Tanuf. This is very unique, great in performance, and can get you compliments as well. Raspberry, strawberry, nutmeg, saffron, a little bit of rose, some musky and woody base. Absolute beauty, guys. This is unique, great in performance, yet it can capture people's attention. So that's why I'm placing it at number two. I have done a full review of this one as well this is an absolute must try in my opinion if you like unique fragrances for the summers three hours of projection 10 11 hours of lasting ahmed al Tanuf. at number one i recently reviewed this and that is called zeleni by ahmed al -Mahribi. if you love passion fruit if you like green apple pineapple in a summer fragrance bang on guys you have to try this one this is very 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 appealing to the nose you might relate this to Parfum Stumali Greenly, but I wouldn't say it's a clone because this has its own twist and turns. There is pineapple, there is passion fruit, which you don't get in Parfum Stumali Greenly. It's only the green apple accord that I get here along with the passion fruit and pineapple. That's where I relate this to Parfum Stumali Greenly, but it's not an exact clone. There are other clones which I've reviewed, okay? But if you like that sort of fragrance, along with citrus bergamot you definitely have to try this one this is a beauty this is very very appealing to the nose is a great performer as well three hours of projection and nine hours of lasting kind of 10 hours as well if you are spending indoors as a mixture so my number one recommendation from ahmed al for this 2024 summer is zeleni okay so that's about it I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in case you have tried any of these. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.